So let's talk about um, the recreational use versus clinical use or shamanic use and um, the, and the different types that we can do it, uh, microdosing versus that hero dose. Catherine, you want to start off? Yeah, I think I'm uh, in the minority. I think uh, recreational use is great because I think that people learn also through joy and through expansion and through play and fun and uh, going out in the afternoon, going to the beach and seeing the magnitude of nature in a whole new way and communing with trees and hanging out with your friends and feeling a heart connection that you don't usually feel. So I think the therapeutic community gets a bit serious at times because the healing potential is so great. And because MAPS decided a long time ago that this was the way that they were going to try to get uh, psychedelics legalized was by focusing on the clinical aspect and getting them legalized for clinical use and to downplay the uh, ecstatic elements because, you know, the mainstream culture out there doesn't want people to be too happy or too uh, ecstatic or having too much fun outside the realm of what they want to sell them. So I think the clinical aspect's great, but I don't want to downplay the fact that people getting together with friends or by themselves to explore their own mind, listen to music, have a great time. I know going to raves and with that ecstatic energy, MDMA energy and just opening your heart and expanding, that is healing. That is a healing experience. We don't always have to be just in these dark rooms talking about our problems to have healing experiences. That's what I do for a living, so you know, sit in dark rooms with people talking about their, their pain and stuff. But it's like these other kinds of experiences are also very healing, give us a sense of expansion, more love, more joy. I don't see anything wrong with that. 